Some habits will make you mediocre for the rest of your life. I know that success could mean a lot of things depending on who you're talking to, but I think that we all agree that nobody wants to be mediocre. There are habits and practices that we have that can be toxic to us even if we don't notice them. You may feel your life stagnated and you don't know why. So in today's video I will show you some of the most common things that make people mediocre and solutions to all of them. If you're practicing some of these habits or a different one, share with me in the comments. I would love to hear your experiences. So let's get into the video. Well, to begin this, let's remember the meaning of the word mediocre. Mediocre is the adjective of average quality or not very good. We all suck at something, that's for sure, but having a mediocre life is something completely different. So the first behavior that will make you mediocre for the rest of your life is not learning. You can't have a standard education and have an extraordinary life. I don't know if you're a doctor or a mechanic, but if you're not educating yourself to be better and to adapt to new circumstances, you'll always be mediocre at your job. And this doesn't apply only to your job. Think about a relationship with your wife or husband. You can train good relationship practices, reading books about it or having sessions with relationship psychologists. So you can only always learn independently of what you want to be better in. I define a mediocre life as being average or not very good at everything. Follow the things that you're good at, the things that everybody asks you for advice and the things that make you forget time. And then get even better at it. If you're a dancer, learn new moves or be better at the ones you already know. If you're a mechanic, learn about new cars and how they work. But please, in whatever you do, be the best you can. Learning and educating yourself is one of the ways for you to stop being mediocre. And I've already said it, but the solution is really simple. Be constantly learning, reading, going to events, listening to podcasts and applying what you've learned. Secondly, and probably one of the most common ones, you have low standards. Listen, don't measure yourself for your salary right now and don't accept it as your value. You should always be grateful and appreciate what you have, but you should never be satisfied. Seek for that promotion, open a business and don't accept to be less than being the best you can be. Low standards, once again, aren't only for your professional side. Don't be in a toxic relationship, get away from people that don't support your dreams. Refuse to lower your standards to accommodate those who refuse to raise theirs. Most people measure themselves by the minimum wage, accepting and not striving for anything better than that. The solution isn't simple, but if you're following the first tip, the second one comes naturally. You must believe in yourself and break through your limiting beliefs. You're capable of being and doing whatever you want to. And if you're a constant learner and you apply the knowledge you'll have, it's probably impossible not having results. And consequently, you will see more clearly how to get to your objective. If you're willing to fail, you have nothing to lose by pursuing your goals. Your limiting beliefs will disappear and your confidence will surely be better. Thirdly, and really important too, you're not taking good care of yourself. You're eating bad food, your nights of sleep suck, you're not practicing exercise, you're not reading and a lot more. Exercise drops your cortisol levels, so you'll be less stressed. Reading decreases your cortisol levels too, increases your vocabulary and comprehension. And about food, there are so many positive aspects of having an healthy diet that I could make a whole video about it. Everyone has different sleeping needs, but the fact is that nobody is at 100% without sleeping. The way you take care of yourself will be reflected in whatever you do. Start eating better food, practice exercise at a progressive intensity, read 10 to 15 minutes every day, respect your schedule to sleep and get rid of all the toxic habits you might have. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with drinking sometimes, but don't exaggerate. You must take good care of yourself. And last but not least, you're always comparing yourself to others. You're killing your uniqueness doing this. We live in a social media world, which has a lot of advantages, but a lot of disadvantages too. Often I see people comparing their life with someone's Instagram posts. Firstly, that's a toxic way to live. Secondly, you're comparing the average of your life with their best moments. And that's not a fair or intelligent comparison. There's a really simple way to look at this. Nobody can give you advice on what you should do with your life. They don't know you that well. Sometimes not even you know yourself that well. So if you're not even supposed to take those kinds of advice, why are you constantly comparing yourself? This is probably the fastest way to a mediocre life. You start to talk like them, walk like them, dress, eat and go to the same places as them. And before you notice it, you're already one in the crowd. The universe is diversified and human beings 
beings are a scientific miracle. Don't act like you need to be someone because of other people's opinions. Because their opinions of you are none of your business. The solution to this last one is this. Focus on yourself, your goals and ambitions. The people who love you and support you and applause other people's success. Your time is coming, but if you can't focus on what you want and how to get there, you're going to be frustrated for the rest of your life. As I said in the beginning, we all suck at something and that's okay. But not pursuing being better is where the problem is. Be the best you can because in my opinion that's the reason why we're here. For now I finished my video here, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This was Successology here, you'll never be average again. Peace.